Hi everyone, I'm Veronica from Ocean Protocol. Today I'm going to show you how you can install Ocean's Python library in order to be able to mint, buy, and sell Ocean data NFTs. There's three prerequisites to be able to install Ocean Lib. The first is have a Mac, Windows, or Linux operating system. This should cover pretty much everyone in the world unless you wrote your own operating system, in which case you probably don't need to watch this video because you're an expert already at installing all sorts of packages. Then um, you need to install Docker Desktop. Docker Desktop will include Docker and Docker Compose, both of which are the dependencies to be able to install this. I recommend Docker Desktop because it comes with a nice GUI where you can check your work on uh, your Docker containers and their statuses when they're up and running in future videos. And thirdly, you'll need Python version either 3.11, which is the latest version at the time of filming, or 3.85 to 3.10.4. Uh, this video is just six total commands. Uh, if you have any environmental issues related to having a Mac, uh, then I'll briefly touch upon those. But for now, um, we're going to make a directory and then we're going to instantiate a virtual environment and install into that. So let's go ahead and make a directory called my underscore project, my underscore project, and then CD into that directory. And then we're going to run Python 3-M V-E-N-V V-E-N-V. Now it's important that the virtual environment is uh, a, a version of Python that is above Python 3.8. Uh, so Python 3, we just assume that you're running a version of Python that is consistent with the prerequisites um, for that. Then we're going to source to initialize. Uh, we ran this command for the initialization of the virtual environment. Now we need to activate it. And so we're going to write source vemv slash bin directory and then the activate file. Okay, now that we've sourced that file, you can see that we're inside the virtual environment. That's great. Then in order to install Ocean Lib, the Ocean Python library package, we are going to pip install first uh, wheel, and that's going to prevent any dependency issues uh, related to building the wheels. So we're going to pip install wheel. Great. And you can see that mine is cached uh, because I've done this before, but it still it went ahead and installed the wheel package. And now we're going to pip install ocean lib ocean-lib. And that was pretty simple, right? I am on a Mac M1 and I want to call your attention to in this readme there's some possible issues that you might have especially if you're on an M1. The coin curve or cryptography dependencies might give you some errors and if they do you can prevent them or work around them uh, by homebrew installing brew install um, autoconf auto make lib tool and package config these four dependencies when you install them should resolve any coin curve or cryptography issues that you might have um, there's another possible issue with max which is the architecture you might have to specify as um, using x86 architecture in with some architecture flags before you pip install ocean lib um, so that's another thing to watch out for. To install OceanLib using Python 3.11, uh, you might have to run this pip install Viper uh, version uh, here and uh, also install the Python 3.11 dev tools uh, before you install OceanLib. There's some other notes here about this and why. Um, let's take a quick look at what's going on here. But, it, but those are there for you to reference. If you have any environmental issues, I strongly recommend that you visit our Discord. Um, the Ocean Protocol server is a great place to connect with Ocean Core team members and to be able to ask any questions about environmental issues, issues with the tech stack, and just get to know the engineers and the engineering uh, behind Ocean. 
a little more deeply. And we really love developers to um, join us in our journey in improving the Ocean Tech Stack. So this is done. I don't see any errors, which is a good thing. Um, I want to fly through this video to respect your time and to respect mine. The last note I will make is that Ocean Pie uses a package called ETH-Brownie. Brownie, uh, in other words, is a really cool package that we use to be able to manage our smart contracts as Python classes. So it's really cool um, to be able to compartmentalize and organize your code this way. And also, Brownie runs a local Ganache um, blockchain on your computer so that you can test out your um, smart contracts and your interactions between uh, selling and buying different uh, and ocean NFTs in this instance. So that's a really cool feature of the Ocean Library. Keep watching um, for some more information on how to mint, buy, and sell ocean NFTs and to restrict or enable the access to those NFTs using data tokens. So subscribe to our channel for more content like this in the future.